Hey guys, today is Tuesday, March 16th. We are halfway through the month of March already. Where is the time going? My heavens. Uh, for self-start today, students are going to be practicing some more with circles. They're going to use quizzes and that code and just writing down the name they got assigned to them. So, uh, we've kind of moved on from Chuck Norris, kind of ran out of facts about him, or rather uh, the ones that we're allowed to share. He kind of said no more. We're getting to know them a little bit too well. So, uh, so we're going to start talking about math jokes. So did you guys know you have to be odd to be number one? Did you guys also know that math teachers have a lot of problems? Yeah, that's kind of true. Uh, so our circles feedback will be on Thursday. So you've got to know how to go from circumference um, to find circumference using a radius or a diameter. You've got to be able to find area from a radius or a diameter. You need to be able to find a radius and diameter from a circumference. And you also need to know how to find the area from a circumference. And that last one is what we're going to be practicing today. So we've been doing a lot of practicing with the area uh, recently, uh, usually when we are given a radius or a diameter. But what if we need to go from circumference to area? What could we do? Well, here's the steps. You need to go from circumference to diameter, and hopefully you guys understand by now that to do that, you do your circumference divided by 3.14. You need to go from diameter to radius, and you do that by just dividing by 2. And you need to go from radius to area using pi r squared. So this is kind of what we're going to be practicing today, going from circumference to diameter, diameter to radius, radius to area. So we'll continue to talk about my favorite thing in the world, pizza. So we've got four different sizes of pizza, medium, large, extra large, and a jumbo. So let's find out what we do. So it's circumference of 43.96. We have to find the areas for these. So I need to do my circumference, which is 43.96 divided by 3.14. And let me grab my calculator. When I do that, I do 43.96 divided by 3.14, and I get an answer of 14. So that's the diameter. So I'm going to kind of put a D underneath it. So now we need to go from there to radius. And to do that, we do 14 divided by 2, which equals 7. So now I've got my radius, and so now I'm going to plug that into my area. So I'm going to do 3.14 times by my radius squared. So I'm going to do 3.14 times by 7 squared, and I get an answer of 153.86 squared inches. So again, so the pattern goes circumference divided by pi, and that gets you your diameter. And then to get a radius, you have to do diameter divided by 2, which is 7. And to go from radius to area, now you plug in the radius into your formula, pi r squared. So I'm not going to do the rest of these for right now, but you kind of get the idea of what to do. So how about this one? A cookie has a circumference of 47.1 inches. It looks like a really big cookie, but you want to know how much of the table it's going to cover. So we have to do circumference to diameter, and that means we're going to do divide by 3.14. So I'm going to do 47.1 divided by 3.14. Type this in my calculator, and I get an answer of 15. So now we have to go to diameter to radius. So I'm going to divide that by 2. I'm going to do 15 divided by 2, which is 7.5. So that's my radius. So I'm going to put up here a diameter, so you guys can see. I'm going to put up here a radius. 
So now we have to do radius to area, and that's your pi r squared. So it's 3.14 times 7.5 squared. So I'm going to type that into my calculator now. 3.14 times 7.5 squared, and I get an answer of 176.625. Which is squared. So I'm not going to go through the rest of these examples. Um, the one thing that I will have you do is when you go through them, kind of break it down piece by piece. You know, make sure to put you know how to do step to step. I'm going to do pi r squared so that way you guys can see what the formula was I used. Um, if you have any questions. Contact your teacher, uh, email or through Canvas, and we'll be more than happy to help. So have a great day, guys. See you soon.